welcome back to another special recipe. You are gonna love this one because it's great for breakfast, it's great for lunch, and even dinner. It is a springtime frittata. Ever had a frittata? They're fantastic and they're super easy. I love them because it's great for a quick, light lunch too. So we're gonna start with a basic frittata recipe. So we're gonna take six eggs. That is for a 10 inch skillet. If you're using a 12 inch skillet, use eight eggs. We're gonna take the eggs, add a quarter cup of almond milk or any type of milk that you want. Then we are going to take two cloves of garlic, throw that in there, cause that's gonna add some amazing, amazing flavors to it. Then we're gonna add a little bit of fresh ground pepper. That's gonna be super tasty. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. Add that all into our egg mixture. Then we are going to stir it all up, whisk it together, get those eggs really mixed up. I love frittatas, not only because it creates a really hearty breakfast, which I love to start my days off with a really big breakfast. It is one of my favorite meals of the day. And this is like that savory breakfast, right? I mean, it's got all kinds of goodness in it. I love it for luncheon or a quick light lunch paired with a side salad. Oh my gosh, it's so good. We have these all mixed up together. Now's the time to add the extra little pieces of our frittata. Now that we have our frittata base already put together, it's time to add the extra little ingredients. So for our spring frittata today, we are putting together that roasted Brussels sprouts and onion recipe. It's on the channel. It's salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil cooked in the oven. It's amazing. You need to go check that out. But we're using that for our filling with the frittata. Now, if you're using some other vegetable filling or even meat filling, make sure your vegetables are all pre-cooked because it's not gonna cook long enough as a frittata in order to cook your vegetables. So saute them, um, cook them ready to go for you have those leftovers in the fridge that you didn't quite know what to do with. The frittata is the way to use it up. Just make sure that your skillet that you have has a tablespoon of olive oil in it so your frittata doesn't stick. Key point there. Trust me, I've done that and went to scoop it out and it just fell apart on me. So you will definitely need to make sure that your skillet is well oiled. Now, we've got our Brussels sprouts and onions have been roasted already in the pan. We're gonna use the exact same pan. Isn't that amazing? Talk about lust dishes. I am so up for it as I'm sure you are too. So take that egg mixture and pour it in your pan. Then we're gonna do a little shimmying. So I told you it's time to shimmy it. So just kind of shake that egg mixture around. It's gonna kind of just put everything evenly so that you get a little bite of all those goody ingredients when you cut into it. So just shake it up just a little bit, get it all sorted around. Then we are going to take a quarter cup of cheese. You're gonna love this. I have mozzarella here. You can use any cheese that your little heart desires because that's what the scrumptiousness is about. And we are going to sprinkle it right on top. Oh, I'm so excited about this. This is actually one of my favorite summertime like brunch lunch dishes that looks like I put forth tons and tons of effort and it's so quick and easy and it's super simple. It's great to feed a crowd, it's really hearty, or just to fix it for yourself and then you have your weekday lunch or breakfast all ready. All you have to do is reheat it and it reheats beautifully. I love this dish. You can customize it, tailor it, to whatever your taste buds are wanting for the moment. 
So now we need to stick this into a 400 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. So come on, let's stick it in. So it is out and can I tell you the aromas in this place are amazing. I can't wait to dig into this. Oh, I'm so excited. I think I'm going to have this for breakfast and lunch. Maybe, maybe. And it's such a versatile recipe too. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, this is goodness, goodness. Oh my gosh. I remember as a kid having this on a back patio brunch or lunch. My mom used to make these and I always loved it. I felt so posh every time she did. It was like we had our own little luncheon kind of thing. I loved it. That was just a special memory from when I was a kid about frittatas. And I always love the different dynamics that we'd come up with. You can literally add anything. It's like the Italian version of a quiche without the crust, which who doesn't love that? I mean, it's amazing and it's so easy. I always loved having it because you could relax, sit back, enjoy. She would uh, serve it and we'd eat out on the back deck outside. Oh my gosh, it was an amazing, amazing. And the flavors went perfect with that springtime fresh air. Sunday brunches, oh my gosh, this is the go-to. I remember so many Sunday brunches that this was amazing for. She served it when guests came over, um, just for a little extra special treat for the family too. I love that it brought a whole new life to those roasted Brussels sprouts with the onion. Oh my gosh, it works perfectly with the egg. Such a great, refreshing springtime meal, add a little side salad to it, and wow, you have got a killer home run meal for your taste buds and your dummy. I love the fact that you can add anything. It's really great with broccoli and ham, or take over some leftover fajita peppers with onions and the meat and add to it. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. I love this. It serves eight. You've got eight separate meals out of it because one single slice actually is a full protein serving. So look at there, quick, simple, easy, and great for your taste buds and your belly. I think you're really, really going to love this and it's going to become your new summertime and springtime breakfast. You're going to love this. You need to try it like right now. Anyway, I hope you do try it because I think you really will love it. I love you. Mm.